In this tutorial, I want you to take a look at an Illustrator feature, new in Illustrator CS5, and now I think it's going to change a lot in the ease of doing certain designs, and that's the Width tool. Now, the Width tool is pretty much for stroke width, and you can do some very exciting things with strokes now in Illustrator CS5. This is just one of these, and it's a Width tool. Let's have a look. I'm going to grab my Pencil tool, and I am using a tablet, which is why I'm grabbing just precisely the pencil tool. If I had been using a mouse, then by all means go ahead and grab the pen tool, because what I'm after is the path. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this to uniform stroke here. I'm just gonna drag out some weirdly shape here. And it's got just very wide stroke, but let's make it down to a little stroke here. So we've got this weird shape and I'm gonna go to object, I'm gonna path, I'm going to go to join, just to make sure that this is a joined path. Then I'm going to grab my width tool here from the side, and I'm going to click somewhere in this, somewhere where I want to make a stop, where I want to change the width. So let's click, and you can see I can drag out, make the width really big, I can see there, pretty much a big blob, or I can make some subtle changes. Let's say I make it like this. Wherever I want to change the width now, all I do is click and I drag to increase the width and you can see side 1, side 2 and the width. What I can also do is hold down my Alt or Option key and I can go ahead and I can modify just one of the sides by itself. So I could modify and drag in. I can drag in one of the sides while increasing the other one. So closing in on one side, increasing it on the other side. Just general, generally having fun with the strokes here. So if I go about this and I do some, some, some cool stuff here, I can play around with this and have some real fun with these strokes now in, in CS5. And uh, of course this means that you can use this in your designs and it's probably going to render out and be very cool to be able to do this just by dropping points and you haven't really been able to do that before now as you can see this makes for a lot of a better interesting shape than what I had before and I can at any time go ahead and go over do something different with it so I can increase the width here let's increase the width suddenly here in the middle let's make a bump well, let's do something like it here too. As you can see, now this isn't probably the best example, but I am doing some very interesting shapes here. And all this is is pretty much a stroke. This is a stroke with the stroke color of black, which means I can change this to any color that I want. Let's turn it into a purple one here. And as you can see, a stroke is width tool allows you to make different widths inside of Illustrator CS4 and CS5. Sorry for that. Of course, this is Illustrator CS5. It's brand new. It's a width tool, and I'm really excited about it.